Today is a great day. Oh, man. Uh, uh, first of all, um, how y'all feeling today? <laughs> y'all feeling good? <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. It's good to see everybody here in the house of the Lord. Um, first of all, I want to just, uh, if, if there's any visitors, if you could please like raise your hand or, or stand up so we can know that you are here in the place with us. Technology, let's give them a round of applause. Thank God for them. Welcome, welcome. And if you are visiting the first time visiting our online, please put in the comments, put in the chat like first time here so that we can acknowledge you. Let's give God a round of applause for our first time people visit us for the online. Yeah, you could have been anywhere, you know, but you, uh, God led you here. So, you know, uh, uh, we are grateful and, um, you know, we are uh, definitely hoping and praying and anticipating that God, God is going to do something amazing on this day. Amen. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's pray. Yeah, let's do that. Um, dear Holy Father God, thank you for this day. Uh, thank you for uh, allowing us to just uh, borrow your breath, God. Um, without you, we'd be nothing. Uh, without you, we'd have no direction. Without you, we've had no purpose. We would have no reason to be here, God. And we just want to say thank you. Father God, we ask that right now that uh, we pray for, for the ones who are, are seeking in a need of lots and lots of things, God. Um, you know exactly what they need, Father. You know where they sit. You know them by name. You know their circumstances, Father. We even know the, the, the great things that, that, that you, you even know the great things that you've done with them and for them and through them, God. And, and, and even the great things, we just want to say thank you. God, we just ask right now that you just open up our minds and our hearts to, to, to receive and hear what you have to say. Father, hide me behind the cross. And we thank you for what you're going to do. We promise to give you all the glory and the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's do this. If you could turn uh, to your Bibles, right, uh, uh, to, um, let's say, uh, Exodus chapter 3. <coughs> Exodus chapter 3, and um, we're going to start at... Verse 1. Yes. Start at verse 1. Okay, cool, right? So, so it reads like this. It reads like this. It says, Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire in the midst of a bush. So he looked, and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not consumed. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush does not burn. So when the Lord saw that he turned aside to look, God called to him from the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, here I am. Then he said, do not draw near this place. Take your sandals off your feet for the place where you stand is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of your father the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to even look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the oppressions of my people who are in Egypt, and have heard their cry because of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows, so I have come down to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptian and bring them from that land to a good and large land, 
to a land flowing with milk and honey, to a place of the Canaanites, the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Parasites, and the Hitt Hivites, and the Jebusites. That's a lot of ites. <laughs> for therefore, now therefore, behold the cry of the children, I be, uh, uh, sorry, for therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel come to me, and I have seen the oppressions for which the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now, therefore, I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Verse 11, it says, but Moses said to God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? and that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt. So he said, I will certainly be with you, and this shall be a sign that, you have, that I have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve God on this mountain. May the God bless the reading and the hearing of his word. Um, I would love to, 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 to talk from the idea um, of uh, you had me until you said me. <laughs> so, I, I, check this out. I, I, do you ever, have you ever remembered a part of your life, right, where, where, where it, it, you were maybe uh, in a group activity? The group activity, like maybe, maybe it was uh, karaoke. Anybody, any karaoke goers, singers in the, in the place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't nobody touch you when that song comes on, you know, and, and, and everything is a vibe. And then you got the people who, you know, um, they love to go to karaoke. You know, they're not the ones that do karaoke. They're the ones that just love to go to karaoke. You know, we, we, we love to, 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 to sing the songs with the person who's actually singing the song. We, we love to enjoy to, to watch those people have a good time and embarrass themselves. You know, and, and so like maybe, maybe there was a time where, where we were out and we we're having a good time and then all of a sudden they said something that killed the entire vibe. They said, it's your turn. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, um, I, 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 everything was all well and good. Everything was fun. Everything, everybody was vibing, having a great time. I, I came out here to have a good time, but for some odd reason, when you asked me to do something, that's uncomfortable for me. <laughs> Suddenly it's not as fun as it was. You know, I, I, remember, as, I remember as a kid, right? I, 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 there was a, I, was, I was in grade school and I, I loved when the teacher would read us books. She would read us books and it would be a story time and I was so excited because she just knew how to read real good. You know, she, she just knew how to read real good. She, she, she knew all the words. She, 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 she articulated the, like, the pronunciation and the, and the, and the, and the punctuation and the, the mood and tone of her voice. She actually brought the story to life. You know, I enjoyed it very much so. But one day, she had the audacity in the middle of the story to say, Keith, can you read the next paragraph? I'm sorry, huh? You, you want me to do what now? I, I, I was having a good time. I was enjoying the moment. I was with you. We were here. Until you said me. You know, I, I, wanna, I, wanna, I wanna dive into this, 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 this idea in this, in, this, in this passage of Moses because I, I believe that this 
same exact feeling that we might have been experiencing in our lives, you know, of, 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 of nervousness, of, of, of fear, of, of being uncomfortable. You know, when we're, when we're called to do something that is bigger than ourselves. You know, I, I, I wanna dive into this story because I, I found it very interesting um, that everything, Moses was minding his own business. It, it, it said that, it, it says right in the beginning, the very first verse, Moses was tending to the flock. Just doing what he was supposed to do, minding his own business. You know, and, and what I found out is this, is that when, when, when God calls upon people, he tends to call them <laughs> when they're busy. When they're doing their own thing. You know, I, 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 I found out that, that, that he wasn't the only one. I thought that, that Moses was the only one, right? But then I found out that, that when, God called, when God called Samuel, he was in the tabernacle. When God called David, he was caring for the sheep. When he called Elijah, he was plowing in the ground. When he called Nehemiah, he was in the palace. Four of the disciples were fishing. And Matthew was counting money. And he interrupted their regularly scheduled program <laughs> and called them to something bigger. Now, 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 now I, I think that, that there's a very interesting reason why he calls people that are busy. Because uh, the reason why he calls people that are busy because it shows that <laughs> You're not a lazy bones. So the question that I, that I want to propose, one of the questions I want to propose is because maybe if we're wondering why you haven't been called or maybe it's because you're not busy. So, so in the midst, of us being busy, busy with our lives, busy with a whole bunch of things that we got going on, right? Uh, 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 I found that, you know, God knows exactly how to get our attention. Like, like, like look, it, it, it's right here. It, it, it says, um, 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 Moses, he, he saw a bush that was on fire, but this is not any type of normal fire. Uh, like in this, in this time where he was at, it, it, it was normal to see plants catch on fire. You know, the, the, the most amazing part about this bush that was on fire was that it was not consumed. It was not consumed. And, and, and so what happened was, it's like when we think about this bush that was not consumed, I wonder, I, because out of all the things that God could have chosen, as majestic and as high and mighty as he is, he chose a thorn bush. Like, I'm thinking, like, if you wanted to get his attention, he could have put something magical or mystical on the mountain. Like, he could have put, he could have put like, some type of uh, uh, plant that doesn't even grow in that region with a whole bunch of different angels flying around. He could have did something real amazing and creative. But he chose to use a thorn bush. And, and, and so what, what, what happens when I think about what, when it comes to you using this thorn bush is, 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 is that God has a pattern of using average things to have amazing impact. You know, I, and some of us say this is this is what is this is what's even even more interesting because um, um, I think that that some of us, you know, uh, um, we miss where God is because it's not wrapped. The presentation isn't glamorous. 
we, 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 we seem to, 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 to miss the, where the power and authority is because we're not attracted to the things that's surrounded by it. You know, and so like God loves using average things. It, it says in, 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 in 1 Corinthians chapter 26 and 27, it says, for, for you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. Now, 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 listen, I, I, this is very encouraging to me when I look at this, is the fact that I'm not too mad about being average. I, 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 listen, I, I, and I'm not like talking about like, you know, us like as far as like, you know, um, um, us like believing in ourselves and no, I'm not average, I'm, I'm phenomenal, you know, all I'm talking about the heart posture. You know, and, and, and so like, I, I, I wonder, like, I wonder, like it, it, it shows me that it's not necessarily the thing as much as it is what's in the thing that makes it great. You know, and so, so it, this thorn bush, it was, the, it was the fire, it was the presence of God that was in the bush that made it a thing. So, so, so and I wanna know, I wanna, I wonder, I wonder what results, what would happen if we let God light us up? You know, I, I, I wanna know how many people do you think you'd be able to bless? You know, how many lions, tigers, and bears you think you'll be able to defeat? How many demons and, 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 and curses do you think you'll be able to pray and fight away? You know, how many strongholds and generational curses do you think you'll be able to break? You know, anything God chooses to dwell in can stand, can withstand the heat and not be consumed. You know, and, and, and this, is what, this, is what I, this is what I come to find out. Listen, uh, uh, believe it or not, um, uh, 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 the reason why you seem to attract so much attention that you do, the reason why you be able to impact the people that you do, is because they see that how lit you are, but they also see that you're not burning. I'm saying so, 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 so everything, everything, this is, this is even more crazy in this moment, in this moment. So, 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 so not only was the bush on fire and it wasn't burning, now it has the nerve to speak. <laughs> like, I, listen, I don't know about y'all, I'm thinking like, yo, he, he's got to be high on something. <laughs> to, to, for, the, for him to hear the bush speak, and he respond. So look, it says, it says, the bush starts to speak. God says, Moses, Moses. He says, here I am. And he says, listen, don't, don't draw near this place. Uh, take off your sandals for the place we are standing on is holy ground. Moreover, he said to them, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God, uh, you get the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. So this is, this is something that I found very interesting in this, in this moment is because um, um, he started off <laughs> um, uh, 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 by saying who he was and who he knew. He says, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the God of your father. You know, it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a different kind of thing when, like, when, 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 when the God of your father starts talking to you. You know what I'm saying? It's a different kind of thing when the God of, of your grandmother starts talking to you. You know, the one that prayed for you every day, 
The one that brought you to church every Sunday. You know, the one that wouldn't let you go even though you did a whole bunch of things to give a reason to let you go. You know, he says, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm him, I'm that guy. You know, I, I'm the one that kept you safe at night when those gunshots were going. I'm the one that put food on your table when you had nothing. I'm the one that sent someone to help you when no one else would. He said, and, 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 and this is very, very, very powerful because I think that, that many of us or some of us even listening right now is, is, is they know of God, but they've never actually had an encounter with God. You know, when you encounter someone, it does a little something different to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you can hear all these great stories about this individual. You can hear all the wonderful things that they did. But when you actually encounter them in the presence, you get to see their lips move. You get to see how they treat people. You get to see if what they talk about is really real. You know, so God, Moses at this moment has an encounter with God and he got his attention right now. And I, and, I, and, I, and I think that many of us, that some of us, you know, it, it, when it comes to the reason, uh, 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 when it comes to God knowing how to get our attention, I wonder if we are actually paying attention. So look, we, 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 we're here, right? And, and, and this, is, this is what I, this is what I, what I love. This is all, everything is all well and good, right? Everything is all well and good. So, so Moses is encountering God, right? He, he, and, and Moses, and, and God tells him, like, listen, uh, I'm aware of the things that are happening. So listen, if you don't know, if you don't think, if you don't believe that God don't know what's going on, he knows exactly what's going on. You know, he, he, he lets them know. He lets them know, like, listen, um, uh, 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 I've surely seen the people in Egypt that they're being oppressed. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm seeing how they're being treated. You know, but, but here's the thing. Um, in the midst of them, in the midst of me knowing how they're being treated, in the midst of the, me hearing their cry, I've made it, um, I've took it upon myself to leave my throne, to come down, and deliver them. Listen, now, now, now I, I think that, that sometimes we can um, miss the uh, power when it comes to God coming down, leaving one place and coming down to handle something. You know what I'm saying? We, we, it's, it's one thing when we handle it and it's like, oh, like, okay, we, whew, we finally got it done. But then it's another type of situation when God comes down and handles it and you realize you didn't have to work as hard as you had to. You know, so he says, like, listen, um, um, I, I have come down because I've heard their cry. The, the, the funny thing about callings is that it's usually attached to someone else's cry. So, 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 so I wonder if, if God is asking you, if God is calling you for an assignment, Maybe the question or maybe the thought process doesn't, doesn't mean it's about you, but it's about somebody else. So look, it says, it says, it says I will deliver them out of the hand. Now listen, I, I, I love this, is because um, uh, uh, deliver, it means to snatch. Like it means to pull away from danger. You know, it means that something that doesn't belong to someone. So he said, listen, I, I've come to snatch them away, snatch my people away from the hands that it doesn't belong to. You know, but then also it says, it says listen, um, I, 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 I've come to take them, let me see, verse eight, it says, it says, um, it says, and bring them up from that land to a good and large land. Now, this is, what I, this is what I realized when I was reading this, is that um, I, I found out that um, everybody has a land. Everybody has a land. Like, like, like not just necessarily like the, like the land, like the ground, 
but, 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 but he says that I am going to take them from that land. I think that everybody, in order for them to get delivered, you have to be taken from that land. You know the land that no one knows about? You know, the, the land that no one knows that you are in because you make it look so good in public. You know, that, look, the land that keeps you doing things that you don't and shouldn't do. You know, the, the land that keeps you in the past. The land that continues to remind you that you would never and you're not, and you won't. So, 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 so he says, listen, I have come to deliver them from that land. You better worship. <laughs> uh, so, 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 so listen, in, in order for a God to bring them out, from one place, they first had to be delivered from that place. Now look, now even as leaders, people who are called, like, like, like we're just not actually, just like God's not just delivering them. God's just not bringing them out of that land. But for the called, we actually still have our own lands that we need to be called from. You know, and, 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 so, and so, so, so at this moment, right, at this moment, everything is Gucci, I, I, everything is Gucci, I can, I can almost imagine Moses like, you know what, God, yeah, it's about time, because I was just thinking the other day, you remember when I was down there, and they tried to, I was trying to do what I wanted to do, and like, I tried to help, but I really had a heart for them, so I'm glad, I'm glad that you hear them, I'm glad that you're about to do something. Then he says... Come now, therefore, I will send you. Uh, um, I'm sorry, the, the, the static from the bush, it wasn't really, the crackling, it really didn't. The reception wasn't great. I don't know what you said. Can you actually like? Can you can you say that you're gonna send Wu? No, no, no. I'm I'm going to send you. Now it was at this moment where you had me. I was on board until you said me. So look, here, here we go, here we go. Look, so it says, it says, it says, um, um, uh, it says, I will send you to Pharaoh that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Now, this is wild because, um, uh, uh, and, and this is scary, um, because uh, when you get called to do stuff, the, the weight of the responsibility gets and feels like a ton. It, 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 it feels like a ton, and, 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 it, and it makes you realize and understand that maybe you don't have what it takes. You know, and 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 and, and to be honest, I, I I don't I don't I don't think that that's necessarily a, a bad thought to have. This is this is why because one, it's a reality, and 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 number two, uh, uh, God, I don't think God would ask you to do something that He knows that you can do yourself. You know, so, 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 so he, he says, listen, um, 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 um. so he, he, he begins to, 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 to ask a very interesting question. Um, but before the question, I, I, I think that it's super important to, to understand that uh, 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 God said 
to Moses. Come now, therefore, I'm going to send you to Pharaoh uh, so that you can bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. Therefore, check this out. This was not Moses' idea. <laughs> so I began to wonder, I began to think that if it's your idea, <laughs> if you take credit for your idea, there's a possibility that it wasn't God's idea. You know, and, and, and if you try to take credit for the calling of God's idea, you will then try to do something that God called you to do without him and wonder why when it doesn't work. You get frustrated. You know, so, 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 so this wasn't Moses' idea. Um, 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 and the sooner that we realize that it's not our idea, the sooner that we'll understand that we aren't the ones that are going to fulfill it. Um, uh, 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 listen, it says in, in, in Philippians uh, 1, uh, verse it says, be confident in this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. But, but, but here's, here's what's why. So, so after we, we, God tells Moses what, 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 what he's going to do, right? He asks a very interesting but popular question. He says, um, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh, that I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt. You know, and, and this question, this question was not a uh, uh, existential question, right? This was an expression of disbelief. Like, 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 he, he, he was, this was, this was similar to the emotion, to the question, to the thought process that Gideon had when God called him. So this is, this is, what, this is what Gideon said, when, when God called him, to, 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 to do and to fight and do all the things. He says, Gideon says, he says, so he said to him, oh my Lord, how can I save Israel? Indeed, my clan is the weakest in Manasseh and I am the least in my father's house. Listen, one, one author said, listen, uh, uh, when God calls you, it's time to get small. And, and then he concludes with this. He says, many folks are little used to God because they are not small enough. So look, look, look. So this is, this is, this is, this is the thing. And, 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 and I wonder, are you, are you sure? Like this, this whole idea, like, yo, who, who am I to do so? This was like the whole thing of like, yo, listen, are you sure you called the right number? Kind of question because you know what you know what is going on. You know who I am. You know where I'm at. And then it's interesting is because I'm um, a part of the reasons why um, I think that we think about these things about like why we tend to think about all these things on why we can't and why we shouldn't. Uh, one of those things, especially in Moses' life, what 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 triggers this thought is trauma of early mistakes. Listen, and, 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 the, and this trauma of early mistakes has caused you to distrust yourself. Listen, it, 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 what can get dangerous is when you distrust, is when the distrust we have in ourselves causes us not to trust and believe in the calling and power of God. You know, it, 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 it's also super interesting how, how we not worried about our faults, we're not worried about our, um, 
our uh, 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 insecurities. We're not worried about you know, the things that we can't do. We're not even worried about uh, the baggage that we carry and bring along with us um, when it's something that we want to do. I'm saying you, you go out and get a job. Go for a job interview. You don't care. That you're hiding all your secrets. You say, listen, I just want to be here. I need some bread. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to tell them I don't know how to use XL. I'm not going to tell them I don't speak Spanish. I'm not going to tell them that uh, 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 I got a felony. I'm not going to tell. Like, we don't care about none of that when it comes to something that we want to do. You know, well, we don't care about the baggage and things that we bring when it comes to getting into relationships with other people. But as soon as God calls you to do something, now you know exactly all the things that we shouldn't and can't be doing. All the things we're unqualified to do. You know, all the reasons why we shouldn't be chosen and thinking about other people. Listen, they would actually be a better candidate for this position that you've called me to be in. You know, but, 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 but why do we do that? Listen, listen, and, 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 I, and I love this. I love, I, I love this um, 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 when, 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 when Moses asks this question. Here it is. Wait, I, I, well, I should say, when we ask this question, who am I that I should go? You know, our, our first Response. Normally, you know, our first response, you know, and even when it comes to people that we may confide in, you know, um, um, and we tell them about what's going on, it's like, yo, man, like, I'm, I'm super scared about this, and like, I don't know what's about to happen, I know what's going on. It's, it's, it's the first, one of the first things that we tend to do as the world, as people, and there's like no harm in this, but I just find it very interesting. The first thing that we tend to do is we tend to, we get told to, um, uh, you better speak over yourself. You know, you better use affirmation. You actually are enough. You are strong. You are smart. You are mighty. You are phenomenal. And all these things are great. I think that we should always use these things. But I think that the, one of the most popular, the world's popular prescription for our insecurities is an over infatuation of the empowerment of self. So this is, this is, this is, this is what I love. This is what I love about when, 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 and we can look, there's, there's several stories and in, 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 in examples in the Bible where, where people say, well, who am I to go? Why are you sending me? God's response isn't because you're strong. God's response isn't because you're mighty. Because you're smart. His response says, I will certainly be with you. Listen, 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 because look, 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 um, um, I, I love this. I will certainly be with you because, because what happens is, is that you think that you're going to do it for your ability. You think that, 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 that you actually by yourself have what it takes. He said, no, 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 no. Actually, it's only because of my grace that you're able to do these things. It's only because of my power that you're able to do these things. It's only because of my authority that you're able to do these things. You know, I, I, instead of, the, listen, the, the, the confidence that you think that we should be having doesn't come from within. It comes from the hills. Which once comes your help. So, 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 so here, let me see, um, um, affirmations, they remind us, but they are not the source. You know,
know, and, and the secret to overcoming our insecurities is to shift the focus on the one who gives us the power. You know, no, no, so, so, so this, this part, right, verse 12, this is something that, verse 12, look, this is, this is what's, this is what's, this is what's pretty cool. And actually, uh, one of the most, I think, one of the most scariest things um, um, ever. Um, because uh, after uh, Moses goes on to say, like, listen, um, uh, uh, but God, who am I that I should go and, 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 and should I go to Pharaoh and who am I to bring the children out of Egypt? He says, so then I will certainly be with you. Now, look, this is wild uh, because um, I'm thinking that maybe uh, if I'm being called to do something, the, the, the thing that I would feel more comfortable with, you know, um, God, I need... Um, some type, I need a specific type of uh, assurance. <laughs> that, uh, that this is gonna be the thing. <laughs> this is gonna be the thing. So, um, uh, but what's wild about this is the kind of assurance that God gives wouldn't necessarily be my choice perspective of the kind of assurance that I would like, but he does something that requires something uh, a little more about you. And he says this, he says, listen, he says, he says, and this shall be a sign that I have sent you. Um, okay. Uh, it says, when you have brought the people out of Egypt. You shall serve God on this mountain. I'm going to keep it a bean. I don't know if I like that. Um, because the only way that we're going to know if God sent you, if God called you, is when it's already done. The one thing that we have to rely on that is actually the biggest and strongest thing that we can rely on and put our buck on is what God said. And, and he didn't say if you lead them out. He gave reassurance that of what he said in the beginning, that I will be with you. In other words, I'm going to be in you. I'm going to be around you. I'm going to be in front of you. I'm going to be behind you. Um, uh, uh, and this is how you know that that is going to be, is because I'm not going to leave you. So when, when this happens, you'll actually meet at this very place. Right back here where I called you at. And you will serve me on this mountain. Here we go. Last, last but not least, right? This is what I love about when, when God calls, right? This is, this is wild. It's because um, uh, not only will, um, you know, he, he gives us uh, uh, like assurance on, on what's going to happen, but uh, uh, also, um, or reassurance, um, but he also gives us resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like that. I like that. I like, I like, I like, I like what's going on over here. The resources, the resources are because God never calls somebody that He doesn't equip with something. Look, He says, He says, in 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 the very next chapter, the very next chapter, right? And 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 verse number two, number two. Um, 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 right after Moses, you know, answered and tried to, you know, give another reason or excuse or question why he shouldn't or maybe you got the wrong person. He says, listen, so the Lord said to him, what is in your hand? Now, listen, I, 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 I'm going to close. I'm going to close with this is because many of us are thinking that because um, maybe because we don't have the social influence or, or we don't have the things that make us look like we're something. And, 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 and I want to encourage you that that, 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 that that's not a bad thing. 
at all. And, and so the reason why it's not a bad thing is because it's not about what necessarily you particularly uh, can show on your body, but it's who is inside you. And because it's a he that is inside you, what happens is the things that you have at your disposal, he uses in mighty ways. You know, so I, I want to remind us that while you're being called, when you are called, get small. Get so small that when God puts the spirit inside of you and lights you up, that people can only wonder and think about, what must I do? To be used by the God that you serve. God bless y'all.